Hello everyone and welcome back to Body Bags. I'm your reviewer for today. I'm Lonnie from Terror and Tats. And uh, what I'm going to review today is a heavy metal album cover. I'm just kidding. No. Uh, as you can see, the name of the movie that I'm reviewing today is called Satan's Blood. And this is from 1978. Written and directed by Carlos Puerto and produced by Juan Piquer uh, Simon. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, the mastermind behind the, you know, gory little classic pieces. And uh, this movie, it's it's pretty good, you know. But um, here's the thing, you know. This is, I think right off the bat, you could tell. What this is, it's a 1970s, basically, well, not basically, it is. It's a 1970s, you know, kind of satanic kind of exploitation movie, which, I mean, we know, you know, these movies were really big back in the 70s. I mean, especially... You know, um, I could be wrong, but I think really kind of Rosemary's Baby back in 1968 kind of kick-started it off. And then, you know, they really picked up momentum after, you know, The Exorcist in 1973. But you had other movies, you know, I think even before that, you know, movies like Black Candles, I think, even came out before that and stuff. But anyway, so yeah, this is, you know, um, it's pretty easy to know what to expect from this movie. It's, you know, it's a you know, satanic occult horror film from the 70s. So if you've seen your share of them, which I definitely have, then you kind of already know what you're in for. But it's still a good movie nonetheless. Um, in the movie we begin, we have our main characters. We have uh, Andy and Anna and their dog, Blakey. And they're just driving along, you know, they're just doing their thing. And uh, they come up to a stoplight and then a car pulls up beside them. And we're introduced to Berta and Bruno. Now, Bruno keeps looking at them, you know, he's like looking across the way, looking at their car, and they're kind of like, who's that guy? He keeps staring at us and everything else, and, you know, and finally Bruno's like, hi, he's like, yo, didn't, you know, he's saying to Andy, you know, like, didn't we go to school together? It's like, you know, I, you look familiar. I'm pretty sure we went to school together and stuff, and Andy's like, I don't really remember you, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we went to this school and everything else, and so he starts, like, talking to him. And he seems to know some things, you know, some things and he's like, okay, maybe, maybe this seems legit. Maybe he, uh, maybe we did go to school together. I'm not sure. I don't really know this guy, but so anyway, so, uh, Bruno and Berta, they invite, uh, Andy and Anna out to their place, you know, and they say, Hey, why don't you come on out? You know, we'll, we'll hang out. We'll have some good food. We'll have drinks. We'll reminisce, you know, and stuff like that. And at first they're kind of like, no, 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 we don't really want to do that. You know, we're kind of just minding our own business. And, oh, come on, man, you know, just come on out and, you know, just chat for a little while. We'll have dinner, you know, a few drinks and stuff and everything else, and you can be on your way. So they finally, you know, Andy and Anna, they finally decide, okay, well, all right, I guess, what could it hurt? So, so they're driving and they're driving and it's kind of like, okay, this is getting kind of weird here because, you know, like, where are we going? And they're driving for a very long time, it seems like, and then they go out to this, uh, they end up going out to this house in the countryside, and it's big, beautiful, kind of a Victorian mansion kind of a thing, and so they go inside, and, you know, they start, you know, having dinner and everything, and they start talking, and, and Bruno's, like, you know, asking Andy, you know, do you know, like, this back from school or that back from school? And he's like, no, I don't remember any of this stuff, you know, like, whatever. So at one point, they're, you know, they're just, you know, having a good time, you know, and drinks and food and all that. And uh, they pull out a Ouija board and they're like, you know, hey, have you ever played with a Ouija board and all this? And no, we haven't. And so, so they're like, hey, let's go ahead and play with the Ouija board and everything. So they start doing that, which, of course, you know, in horror movies, playing with a Ouija board is always a great idea. You know, nothing ever, nothing could ever go wrong with playing with a Ouija board. We all know that. So they start playing with the Ouija board, and and uh, Anna she starts to get a little freaked out, and you know, um, so they find they decide to stop. But then there's like more, and then kind of like sinister things are starting to come along, and they realize things are not really what they seem, and um, you know they start you know like Anna has haunting dreams about you know like Berta appearing to her naked, and and you know like with a knife going to sacrifice her and things like this. And, uh, so, you know, they get up in the morning, they decide, okay, yeah, we're kind of creeped out by this place. We just want to get out of here. So, you know, they realize that their car is gone. And so they're kind of stuck there and they're, you know, they're looking for their dog as well. 
And of course, you know, like it's a horror movie, so we know usually what happens to the poor little animals in horror movies. So uh, Berta and Bruno, they come back and they're like, okay, you know, sorry, we had to borrow your car to get groceries. Why don't you stay for lunch? And so they're like, well, no, we got to go, you know, and everything. So they get in the car and guess what? Of course, the car won't start. And then, uh, you know, so they they go back in the house and they kind of, they're starting to realize that they're trapped. And as the movie progresses, we realize that uh, uh, Berta and Bruno are Satan worshipers and they basically belong to a religious cult. And so now Anna and Andy have to try to figure out a way to escape. And, um, which is kind of hard because, you know, they're all like, hey, you know, it's like, let's orgy and all this kind of stuff, you know, so... Uh, so basically they're trying to, it's pretty much a fight against time to try to get out of, get out of this house before they become the next victims and, you know, sacrifices to this, you know, satanic cult. And that's pretty much about the movie in a nutshell. You know, I don't want to give too much away because, you know, um, there are a couple of twists and turns in this movies. You most likely you'll probably, if you've seen these kind of movies before, I think, there are twists and turns, but you're going to see them coming pretty much from a mile away. So I don't, you know, but, um, yeah, so I, but still there are certain details in there. I don't really want to give away, but anyway, uh, this movie, it's probably not the best occult horror film I've ever seen from the seventies, but it's, it's definitely interesting. It's a good movie. It's fun to watch. Um, it runs at 82 minutes, so, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't drag out, you know, it runs at a pretty bit brisk pace. And um, I would say overall, you know, a couple of the performances are a little over the top, uh, but overall, I'd say kind of like Anna kind of tends to give a little bit of a, you know, her performance tends to go a little bit overboard in some certain scenes, but, um, you know, but the acting for the most part is stellar, and, uh, you know, you do definitely get some good gore in here, so let me see if I can show you that. See, like right there, there's a, they find a guy who's all like chopped up in the freezer and stuff like that, so... But uh, overall, yeah, it's a good movie, and I would recommend it. You know, if you're into, you know, satanic occult horror films from the 70s and stuff, which, you know, I apparently must be because I own this thing, so. But, um, yeah, um, there's a good, decent amount of gore. You get plenty of nudity, so, you know, there's that to look forward to. And uh, nice, good look, you know, nice, gorgeous-looking women in the nude and all that stuff. So, it, it but it's... That's kind of the thing. I mean, there's not really too much more I can say about it. It's just, you know, it's your typical, you know, 1970s satanic uh, occult horror film. So, you know, but there's not much more else I could. Yeah, pro this is probably going to be one of my shortest reviews ever because there's just not really too much more I could say about this movie without giving it away. But, um, you know, it's got some pretty good special features on here. You get a 45-minute documentary about the making of the movie. Um, you do get commentary, uh, let's see, who is it, with authors, uh, I'm sorry, just, it's kind of hard for me to read this, Sam Deacon and Key Ellinger, uh, let's see here, but, yeah, I would definitely say, you know, really good transfer from Vinegar Syndrome, but, <laughs> sorry, I'm starting to ramble now, so I think it's about time for me to close this up. But uh, honestly, yeah, I would say, you know, if you're into satanic horror movies and, you know, especially the ones from the 70s and stuff, you know, I would definitely say, and you don't mind, you know, sleaze and gore, you know, you're definitely going to like this, you know, it's not, I don't want to oversell it though, you know, it's not like a ton of sleaze and gore, but you do get a fair amount, so, but I would definitely say, yeah, if you're into these kind of movies, I would say go ahead and give Satan's Blood a chance, you know, it's, it's a pretty good watch, so. But anyway, so that's going to do it. So if anyone took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it, and I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, go and subscribe to the Body Bags channel. And uh, if you like uh, Blu-ray and 4K reviews, go ahead and check out my channel, Terror and Tats. Sorry, a little selfless, selfish, shameless self-promotion. I swear, I just woke up a little while ago. I'm sorry about this. But anyway... So that's going to do it, everybody. Take care, and uh, I'll see you all next week.